welcome back uh, today we will discuss the analysis and design of rcc multi storied frame structures opening the new project a uh, space then i am going for like a 3d frame d folder a uh, metric note and okay fine next I will draw this figure with uh, the open structure wizard option. Finish. In this one, you can select. We already selected truss model for doing analysis, analyzing and designing the truss. We used the uh, frame model. And uh, last time we did for a two story building. This time we will try for an. A 3D building. So bare frame. So the total uh, length is uh, 12 meter and the height. So if I divide the 12 meter into 4, then each uh, like the bay width will be 3 meter and height 15 I am dividing into 5. So each height will be 3 meter. And towards the back side, we have a 12 meter uh, in four direction. Okay, so when I apply, you can see the a 3D model. Go for the view option, edit, uh, then sorry, uh, then you can go for the file merge model with start pro. So directly go to the uh, total 3D frame where you have in lengthwise say in x direction. I'll just select x direction along. I'll take the front view. If I select the ground floor and I put it in 3D mode. So this is the ground mode, and you can see this one, this one, this one, and this one all are in the x direction. We divide a total 12 meter into four spans, so each span will be three meter. Same in the width direction, 12 meters divided into four parts: one, two, three, and four. In high direction, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, 15 meter we divide into five parts, so each height will be three meter. You can go to this option and uh, see uh, display. If you give, it will be very overcrowded. But still you can view it uh, yeah so the height will be 3 meter and we divided the uh, actually we divided 12 meter into 4 parts so all will be 3 meter remove yes. sorry yes. so we have modeled the uh, 3 frame then we will put it in the uh, front view mode uh, go to the geometry general again uh, support condition will give fixed support for all the uh, base supports create fixed will give add so we'll select this one and select the nodes cursor select the supports assign to selected nodes assign we'll go it in a uh, 3d uh, sorry a uh, 3d way yeah so all the Sections are given the fixed supports. Fine. Now, if you see the 3D rendered view, you can sorry, we should uh, select under structure and go for a 3D view. You can see only the line element as we haven't given the properties to the 3D frames. So, coming to that, you go for the general go for the property then go for define rectangle you can give the property for analyzing this uh, 3d frame you can give 0.3 by 0.3 for all the uh, intersection then you can click on add and close 
Okay, I'll give the property to the entire beam and then click assign. Now we can go for the 3D views so that you can see that all the uh, properties are assigned to the uh, beams and columns. Okay, so here I have given the same property for the entire frame. You can even uh, add more properties and give to the respective uh, beams and columns. Now we can go to the lots and definition, load case add, we get that load, DDL, and then we will give it live load, LL, and close. In that load, we will go for add option, and a self weight, add close. Sulfate is for the entire structure. You have to selected beams. This is assigned. In live load, you can go for edit option. Sorry. Uh, in live load, add. Uh, we can give the uh, floor loads. So we can go for floor load and uh, in we are working in the y range so for the i'm giving um, like uh, the uh, flo same floor load for first story uh, first floor one two three and four and different loading for the top one right so i'm giving a pressure of uh, minus uh, two here and for that case i have to give here minimum is uh, say one and total height is actually uh, 15 uh, meter so uh, just one some value less than 15 so it will be 14 14 is the uh, uh, y range and i don't have an x range and z range if you go uh, i want to analyze the structure for a slab for one way distribution you can click on this or you can uh, just leave leave as it is and then again i'm giving uh, minus one four topmost floor so i can select just 14 to uh, 15 plus any value 16 so i'll be uh, the, the the load assigned will be uh, minus one for the floors which are coming in this range we have only floor which is the topmost floor which is in this range and add and close it's already assigned because it's like uh, this is already uh, we are giving some values uh, or ranges uh, and this loads directly assigned to the entire uh, structure now we have the uh, design options we should select the indian standard uh, 4 by 6 select the concrete sorry and in that one you have is 4 by 6 actually previous it was in steel that's why i couldn't find is 4 by 6 so now concrete then i have taken is 4 by 6 select parameters i will all uh, make it to left first and i'm giving here composite strength of concrete fy main and fy secondary and you can select any uh, required parameters okay Define parameter I'm giving the default values add fi main add and fi uh, secondary also same value as setup fi main so close and I'm giving uh, this one to the end 3d frame as I result yes sorry uh, should be selected beams assign So concrete design is also included in this one. We'll go for analysis and print, uh, then no print, add and close. And we will just analyze this structure, save. 
so there is zero error zero warning zero one not is there we have output file return yeah so we have uh, the concrete design i uh, can uh, see Yeah, we have given the uh, this is actually the input parameters which we have given to the start by using an interface and uh, these are about the uh, values we have given we will go for the post processing mode uh, ok we will go for the we'll uncheck the deflection bending moment we will check the, uh, check the beam cursor yeah, so this is the uh, just a minute, we will come back to the modeling phase. Mm, general. Yeah, so as we have, uh, when you click on the analysis and print, uh, now print, uh, then close, uh, when I analyze it, you can see that the, sorry, the file done. You click on the results uh, and uh, concrete design uh, actually actually uh, nothing is uh, designed here something is missing the reason to that is I have forgotten one thing it should give in general design concrete in uh, after giving the parameters and giving the value for the parameters go you should go to the commands then give design beam design column design slab beam or slab or element add and total quantity of requ uh, requirement close and should assign all the things to the end beam yes design column design slab or element uh, set the circle beam assign yes Actually, we can delete this one. This is uh, can't be done in, in a straight way. The slab design. Uh, okay. Uh, for time being, we'll analyze the beam column, and we'll take the total total quantity of takeoff. And analysis analyzing output file done. Maximize our results. Only design. Yeah. Now we can see that uh, the reinforcement required for different sections are uh, displayed and we have numerous uh, beams and columns in this um, 3D frame and hence the report is actually very uh, lengthy which contains the design of every uh, member. We'll close this one and go to the post processing and if you take the beam cursor switch off the deflection and click on the beam now now we can see one more tab as in previous case i i didn't had this concrete design as i given didn't given the command properly so concrete design you can see the reinforcement details for the individual uh, beams as well as the columns you can click here concrete design you can see the uh, different uh, concrete design parameters deflection of the particular column uh, shear bending values you can see here the loading property the geometry all will be available or clicking on the respective uh, beams and also reactions if you click you can uh, it will be very overcrowded as you have numerous um, supports very closely uh, placed you can see on the right side it will give you the values as in a table alright uh, so this is about the uh, modeling of a 3d frame uh, giving the section properties uh, to make a RCC uh, 3D frame and analyzing and design the member uh, for the applied loads. Thank you.